Now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to continue the program by recognizing the alums who are in attendance with us tonight. Uh, I do want to mention, uh, however, that we did hear earlier from Coach Frank Layden and Marshall Wingate, uh, each expressing their regrets that they are unable to be with us tonight, uh, but they certainly uh, send their positive thoughts and want their congratulations to you uh, on this honor this weekend. Uh, so we will, we will continue on. Uh, to the alumni, when you hear your name, please come up to the front of the room and we'll have a good photo op uh, once we've announced everyone's name. First, happy to welcome back to campus from the 1985 through 1990 seasons forward, wearing number 30, Patrick Jones. From the 1968 through 70 club, forward number 33, Joe Adamanis. Two thousand one, two thousand one to two thousand five. Point guard number ten, Alvin Cruz. Two thousand four to two thousand eight. Guard number twenty four, Sharon Fisher. Two I know guard forward. I hear that every time we get that, but. 1964 to 1968, forward, number 42, Dr. Greg Hideki. <laughs> At Niagara University from 2006 to 2010, and also a part of the program now, a guard, number two, ladies and gentlemen, Tyrone Lewis. Nineteen sixty eight through nineteen seventy forward number thirty five Bill McCready two thousand one to two thousand five forward number forty three Juan Mendez. Nineteen sixty seven to nineteen seventy guard. Number 23, ladies and gentlemen, Calvin Murphy. <laughs> uh, 1966 to 1968, guard number 24, Alan Shug. <laughs> From 2000 to 2004, forward, number four, Tramel Darden. All right, now squeeze good and tight together, fellas. It is time for the photo op. Thank you very much. That's a ton of points, rebounds, assists. <laughs> Fans, it's now time to hear some reflections from some of our alumni here tonight. We will get started. Our first speaker, listen to this, our first speaker amassed over 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds in his four-year career. He ranks in the top five in seven categories here at NU, including points, rebounds, and blocks. He led the Purple Eagles to their second NCAA tournament berth in school history in 2005, en route to being named MAC Player of the Year, MAC Tournament MVP, and he was named to the AP All-American Honorable Mention Team. He was named First Team All-MAC a record three times. He was inducted into the Niagara Athletics Hall of Fame in 2013 and the MAC Basketball Honor Roll in 2014. He will have his banner unfurled at halftime of tomorrow's game. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Juan Mendez. Yeah, good luck. Let 
just soak in, my man. Let this soak in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I want to start off by uh, saying thank you to Niagara University for the uh, recognition. Um, I loved it. I loved every uh, every minute of it. Uh, look, honestly speaking, without some guys in this uh, like here tonight, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. You know, when it comes to uh, basketball, I'm not I'm not no Calvin Murphy, but uh, <laughs> I uh, I just came here from Montreal, you know, trying to do my best, trying to be a player, get education, and move forward. And Niagara gave me, gave me the gift, gift of dreaming and believing. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. I want to say one thing, though. I want Tramel, Alvin, and Sharon to come up here. Please. Come here. Come here. I'm not one to really talk about myself. I get uncomfortable because that's just not me. Humbled by you know, the recognition. But I would like each of you to say one thing about the run we had here. And I agree. All right. You go, Tremel. Just to follow. Trey, you first. You got us. You got us. Um, hello. Good evening, everybody. Um, <laughs> you know, it was fun playing with Juan because he was always a fun guy. You know, he, he enjoyed the game. He had a, a, a great life about himself. Um, he never really took himself too seriously like that, you know, and because he didn't think so highly of himself, that's why he was so successful in what he had here. You know, he came here. Humble when he came, but he always had fun. And um, he enjoyed what he did. And uh, because he enjoyed playing the game and just enjoyed life in general, he was able to be successful. And um, I'm thankful to be able to come up here and share this moment with him. Um, we did three years together. And, you know, it was, it was, a, it was easy for him. You know, that's one thing I will say. Uh, the game was easy for him. He was able to produce at a, at a high level. And um, even afterwards, you know, he still would speak to me. I remember coming here um, his senior year. I had a break, uh, and I came and spoke to him, and I told him, you know, hey, get those rebounds up. And for the rest of the year, he averaged 12 rebounds. Um, he, he would listen. He didn't think he was above anybody. And, um, you know, we started the playoff run my senior year, and he was a key contributor to that. And um, I'm just thankful to be his teammate and have an opportunity to share this moment. I said with him. Um, congratulations, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I only got to play one year of one. I mean, I came out, came out of high school. I mean, a high recruit. I came here. Juan immediately chilled, calmed me down. <laughs> <laughs> it was his team. He let me know that. But he, <laughs> everybody in a good way. I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah, mean. he wasn't. He wasn't mean. I, and he he was mean to a couple guys, but not to me. He was good with me. Uh, I mean, and he just let me know. I mean, he he taught me everything that that I that I taught the guys after him to lead the team. I played with Juan, and I mean, he told me win, just win. That's all. Do it your way and win. I mean, I came here, I learned from Juan, I handed it over to Tyrone. And it's been rolling ever since then. But, uh, I mean, it was just an honor playing with him. He was a beast. Couldn't nobody stop him when he got mad. Once him and Alvin started talking in Spanish, once they started talking in Spanish, you knew it was trouble. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I just say thank you, man. I appreciate you. And uh, I became good because you helped me my first year. And I just followed your steps. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I know Juan since he was 16, uh, I know it wasn't easy for him. He left his home at an early age to chase a dream. And uh, to be here now and see all the things he accomplished, all I can say is that, man, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. And, uh, I mean, we're always going to be family, you know that. So, hey, congrats, man. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the evening. All right. Thanks very much, Juan and his teammates. That was tremendous.
Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, has become synonymous with Niagara basketball. By the conclusion of his illustrious career, he became the program's all-time leading scorer en route to collecting numerous national accolades. He led the Purple Eagles to its first NCAA tournament appearance during the 69-70 season. He holds the third highest single game scoring record in NCAA history and his career scoring average of 33.2 points per game still ranks fourth in NCAA history. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to welcome up to the podium Calvin Murphy. Hey, I know it's your day, but I'm going to teach you how to speak for yourself. All right? You got to blow your own horn every now and then, big fella. But I want to, <laughs> but sincerely, I want to congratulate you. You are now among one of the elites in a fraternity of having your number of raised to the rafters, and that's beautiful. And I would not have missed it for the world. When I had called up and I had asked if it was possible for me to come up here and be a part of this evening, it was because of my respect for what you did up here for this university that has been good to both of us. So congratulations. Now, uh, when, I, when I was uh, asked to speak, <clears throat> I was told I had five minutes. Now, if you give me the podium, you know five minutes is impossible. <laughs> but I'm going to try to keep it down to five and a half. How does that sound? Okay. <laughs> I want to speak to, to the team uh, for a second, if I may. I want you to understand who you are and where you are. The greatest thing that ever happened to Calvin Murphy, and I'm going to try not to get emotional about this because I'm speaking from my heart. I didn't write down a speech. I came here to talk to you about what's real. You are given an opportunity, not just to play basketball, but to be somebody in life. Understand that, embrace that, and work towards it. You know, when I was a, a basketball player in you, all I thought I was gonna be was a basketball player. I was fortunate enough to have a teacher who, uh, one of her relatives works here now. Uh, Mrs. Cohen was her name at the time, and then became Mrs. Gould, who, right from the beginning, explain to me what, what I had in front of me, what my obligations were to the university, myself, and my family. She enrolled me in her public speaking class for years because she had a vision. Her vision was when basketball is over, you've got to have something to hang your hat on. I'm making a living today. I broadcast for the Houston Rockets. I've been with the Rockets now 48 years. I know I look young and tender, but I've been here since. <laughs> but what they did for me here at this university has set a tone for the rest of my life. I want you as players to understand what you have in your grasp right now and don't let it go. You are not just basketball players. You're not just students, but you're leaders of this wonderful country. And right now, you're getting an opportunity to get a leg up on everybody else. You know, when people ask me, why did I come to Niagara? Well, when I was a youngster, coming out of high school, heralded 235 scholarships, the whole nine yards, I've, I've heard, and, and everybody told me the same exact thing, except for Niagara University. They told me, all we can give you is an opportunity to get an education and to be somebody in life. They didn't lie and they didn't break their promise. So with that being said, I want you to embrace what Niagara University is trying to do, to do for you right now. Don't waste a moment of you being here on this campus. Get ready for the rest of your life. And with that being said, I'm gonna be watching. Now, I'm not as nice as Juan, all right? I'm gonna tell you when you're wrong. When you walk out of here today, I want everybody that's on this ball team to have my phone number. And I'll answer it. I'm going to give you my private number. The only ones that have it is you and the IRS. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to give you that number because I want you to pick it up and use it. If I can ever do anything for you, be it advice. I have no money, so don't call up about no loan. <laughs> but with that being said, whatever I can do to help you further your career the way Niagara University did for me, it's a promise. How much time do I have? You're perfect. With that, I want to say thank you very much.